Okay, so if you didn't see my earlier video, I was just showing the horn in there, which you can't really see. Um, it's dark out sun. It's dark out. So I'm just going to do this quickly, but everything is just getting tucked back in right now. Um, wires are tucked back away. So up here is the light. The red one is the light switch on and off. And this is the horn button. So this did arrive. Now what I had to do is hot glue that on there because it didn't come with a um, bracket like it was supposed to. But I really don't want to go through a fight with the Chinese sellers. So I'm just going to hot glue it on there for now and maybe make one a manufacturing class. So the light still works. That switch does headlight and the... 12 volt tail light. So they're both just LEDs. This one is a 12 LED rear tail light. And then this one is a 4, 6, 8 LED. So an 8 LED front he headlight. That lights up stuff pretty good and it's only half battery. Alright, then this one, I'm going to do this quickly because it's late. So that's still that. And this switch is now horn. So it works at the same time. So as I'm riding, I can reach over and hit that button now. So it's all set and it's ready for uh, ready for riding season. Okay, I just gotta do this quickly. I'm about to leave. So I just bolted this horn in to the gas tank, so it's connected to that bolt. The horn comes up to here. It's connected to a common ground lead, which also goes to the the light. So whenever you flick this switch. It uses the common ground, but then uses this power right here and sends power to there. So what I'm temporarily doing is I'm taking this power lead and I'm connecting it into the power of the light. So every time I hit the light, that happens.